everyone. Today's voice lesson, we are going to learn how to sing like Disney princesses. No matter how your heart is grieving, all those days watching from the windows. Little Jody Benson up in here. Elbow, elbow, wrist. I decided to start as Rapunzel today because we have been singing a lot of Rapunzel as you may have seen in my most recent video with my husband Peter Hollins. We covered I See the Light from Tangled and I'm excited to announce that next week at this time the video on my channel will be out. Subscribe today and you will get to see that video next week. So today I'm going to give you a few tips on how to transform your voice into singing more like a Disney princess. So we're going to do a little bit of a warm up and get into our Disney princess vibe. Now in general, a Disney princess usually has a light and bright sound. If you have a deep husky voice, you can still kind of achieve this by thinking with those lifted eyebrows and a little bit of a raised space. We'll go up. To make this sound a little more Disney princess-like. I will brighten my tone, which is almost like a smile inside. Yeah. So if you can tell, that has a little bit more of a bright, lifted sound. Sound a little more peppy and Disney-like. My last voice lesson video, we worked on our head voice. You can check that out over here. You may remember the Zia warm-up, and this is one I really like to do. Zia. Now, if we're gonna be a little more Disney princess-like, and obviously it depends if you're going for old Disney princess, a little more Snow White. See She has kind of that old-fashioned, really fast vibrato, so that's one way. A little more pop princess, we can add a little more air. Zee If we're trying to emulate Mandy Moore, add a lot more air. Zee you have that bright, airy sound. So let's just do the first verse of I See the Light from Tangled together, and I can give you a few tips on how to sound a little more like Mandy Moore. Now I'm here, suddenly I see. We add a little bit of a glottal, all those days. Then we add some more breath. Watching from the windows, all those years outside looking in. Separate the head voice and the chest voice and make it uh, a little less seamless. Never even knowing. Just add a lot of that air behind it. Blinking in the starlight. And in true Disney princess fashion, we add a little bit more of that quick vibrato. Where I'm meant to be. It's a lot of fun to play with different sounds and really all it's about is playing around with it on your own. Anything that feels tense or forced or you know, like you're pushing something out isn't a healthy way to do it. For a quicker vibrato, let the air flow really quickly. Make sure you're using your diaphragm, engaging those intercostal muscles and really letting the air flow out quickly. Now what you'll notice a lot of Disney princesses are good at is enunciation. So this is very musical theater. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? So one other tip besides the enunciation and the clarity of the vocal and the brightness of your tone is also making it feel a little bit conversational. All those years outside looking in. As if you're talking, as if you're telling the story. So that is all for today. I hope you feel more Disney princess-like. Please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this and if you want to see more. Please subscribe and next week you can see my version of I See the Light with Peter and Nathan Aleph on piano. And after that there'll be some more voice lesson videos. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next week. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>